Spider-Man fans are not going to know what to do with themselves once No Way Home actually comes out. Welcome to the Chaos Multiverse, everybody. Jimmy or Chaos, and as I said on my last video, if we hit 10,000 subs on this video, I wanted to say thank you. I'll give an official thank you once we actually eclipse that mark, but we launched the channel a couple months ago, and the fact that we are about to uh, race past 10,000 subscribers absolutely amazing so thank you to everybody that has joined the chaos multiverse watches the video supports comments and interacts with me on twitter as well today yes more leaks and rumors and uh, a lot more to do with that that big leak that happened with the cut footage from the teaser trailer that's right there was a big leak that popped out where uh, it was a bunch of uncut footage that did not make the official teaser trailer a lot of people are uh, thinking it's from the new trailer we haven't gotten yet but according to all the scoopers and sources i've seen it's 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 footage that didn't make it in it's cut footage from the official teaser trailer and if you want to know about the venom uh, supposed leak you guys can check out that video that i put up as well but today we're going to focus in on sandman so uh spoiler alert if you guys don't want anything ruined for spider-man no way home uh, Here's your official spoiler alert. I mean, I, I'm doing the best I can to, to keep you out of the loop if you don't want to be in it. But if you're still here, let's get into it. Before we jump into the actual leak, Spider-Man uh, the Trilogy? 4K Ultra AD HD 3 film collection? Okay. 4K Ultra HD The Amazing Spider-Man 2 film collection? That's odd that those are coming out. It's really weird especially when there's no reason for them, right? Anyway, very, very cool. You guys are going to be able to get those on 4K. And one more thing, and this doesn't have anything to do with the leaks, but I want to have a bit of fun with you guys. David Track Official on Twitter posted this. Now, I don't want you to go crazy or anything about it. I thought it was fun. And part of the fun of the culture and the community is really reaching to, to put these super theories together and connect the dots, even if they're not there. And I thought this one was pretty funny. So he posted it and said, wait, Spider-Man No Way Home, the amazing Spider-Man. And he has all these pictures from the Empire Magazine of the behind the scenes of Tom Holland in the basement, which we've already said, there's multiple sets going on here. The, the still of Ned, MJ, and Tom uh, on the laptop, that's here. The still of all three of them walking down the staircases, that correlates here. But David... He took it the extra mile. He went back to the amazing Spider-Man in Andrew Garfield's basement and he put his own correlations together with the workbench and the air conditioner duct and the hallway and the light. Now, yes, every basement has air conditioner ducts and every basement has stairs to get down to them and they usually have a dimly lit yellow light. So I don't think there's anything here, but I thought it was pretty funny. And I wanted to share it with you guys. And hats off to him for trying to connect the dots. Even though I don't think this set is from Andrew Garfield. But what if it was? What if Tom Holland, he time traveled over to Andrew's universe? Yeah. Anyway. Okay. Let's get on to what the actual video is supposed to be about. And I'm not going to show these screenshots because I, I, I don't want to get in trouble, to be honest with you. But if you want to go check out the Culture Chris good friend of mine, Chris Rosser, Cosmic Culture. Here's his Twitter. You guys can go check him out and you can do the search yourself and I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. And he posted something from Moth Culture that said, first image of Sandman. Spider-Man No Way Home shows Sandman's arm getting detached by one of Electro's lightning bolts trying to shield Spider-Man who is on fire. The same scene was shown already in the first trailer. Unfortunately, it was undone trailer footage at that time i'll let you guys take it as you will alleged grain of salt but what chris is saying and you guys can uh, go find it he circles three points on this really really blurry pick and he points out that that looks like there are three spider-man heads in that picture now me personally i see two of them i definitely see two uh, with the eyes and they look like spider-man characters definitely two he sees three i'm a little I'm not sure some people are in the comments of that saying it could be a uh, green goblin. Others are saying it could be the third Spider-Man in a black suit could be Tom Holland in his black suit. I'll let you guys surmise what you think, but I will say I definitely see two Spider-Man heads in there. And that could be a reason why this was actually cut from the trailer. They didn't want to give it away yet. But the bigger thing for me is the plot of Sandman. We know Sandman's in the movie. 
And if you've watched uh, the uh, the past movies, you know he left on kind of a good note. He's kind of an anti-hero. I wouldn't even I wouldn't even call him I, I wouldn't even call him an anti-hero. He's not even really a villain. He was doing everything he was trying to do for his daughter and uh, you just kind of attached to him. And he was actually uh, not a bad guy. And it looks like if this ends up being true, that's going to correlate over to Spider-Man No Way Home. If this is true and Sandman is actually trying to protect the Spider-Man or Spider-Men in this picture from Electro, he's picking up right where he left off from that post credit scene and he is trying to help, which just adds a whole nother layer of dynamic to this movie. If Sandman is trying to help them against Electro, what happens with Doc Ock when his, his tentacles aren't activated with the red sensor? I mean, he's a good guy, part good guy, part bad guy as well. Green Goblin, we know he's bad, but there's going to be a lot of different dynamics when it comes to this, especially if Sandman is going to hold true to actually not being a bad guy, and it actually kind of reinforces the whole there is no Sinister Six in this movie. It really kind of makes sense now that Sony is going to hold that Sinister Six moniker for an actual official Sinister Six movie over in the Spider-Verse in the future because half of these villains aren't really bad. They're, they're not. They have conflicted storylines of where they're trying to do good things for good people, but they get caught up in bad situations. So you can't say it's really a true Sinister Six in the future people would say well they don't have enough people to do a sinister six they got to do it here they're gonna miss their mark not true at all morbius craven the hunter venom obviously green goblin if he wanted to continue down that path kingpin there's multiple multiple sinister six options for them uh, in the future there's a lot of them trust me and it would give them a chance to introduce even more characters so do i think this is real I, I do, honestly. Do I think there's three Spider-Man characters in this screenshot? I see two. Uh, I can make, I can, I can go down the path that Chris is on on the third, possibly a black suit. Do I think Sandman is protecting the Spider-Man characters according to moth culture? Yeah, I do. And if that's the case, that's exciting. You guys let me know what you think. I'll keep you posted on anything that pops up and I'll see you soon.